Okay, everyone, it's Benicia, your community outreach specialist, and I am with Amanda again, your community engagement specialist, and I'm going to be bringing you five things that you don't know about her. Okay, so Amanda. Yes. Say hey to our followers again. Hello, everyone. Like, how have you guys been doing today? Hope that you had a happy new year. Happy new year, 2019. I have no clue when this video is going to be uploaded. So we had this conversation. Yes. How long, is it too long for you to continue to say happy new year? The question on everyone's mind. Like, I feel like today it's January 3rd. I feel like I should stop saying happy new year. I just want to. Yeah, we're done. Comment below. How do you feel about that? If it's like. I don't know, January 12th. Are we week? still saying, is it two weeks, is it a month? Like, I feel like January 3rd, I'm over it already. Right. We're in the new year. I say give it a week. It's I'll well, give you a week. But we're well underway already. Like, I just. A week gives you time to know. see everyone. Let us know, let us know, because I really feel. Solve the debate. Strongly about that. But, okay, <laughs> side notes. Okay, five things that you didn't know about one. Amanda. My phone line. What's number one? Sorry. Notes once I again. wrote them down exactly. because I like to be prepared. Exactly. So number one mm -hmm. is that I really like to travel. Ooh, where Love have you been? Love traveling. Um, most recently, um, domestically, I went to St. Augustine. It's a really cool town. Okay. It's got a lot of history. Um, but my big trip in 2018 was um, I went to Europe by mm -hmm. myself. That's Ooh, that's trip. really exciting. Yep, I've always wanted to go, and I didn't want to wait for anyone to go with me, so... Did I, you have, like, an eat, pray, love moment? I didn't. I just wanted to I've go I've never read that trip. book or seen the movie. I, I haven't <laughs> either, but I didn't... I did a lot of eating, that's okay. for sure. Okay, okay. Um, but I went to um, Denmark, mm -hmm. Sweden, so Copenhagen, Denmark, Stockholm, Sweden, and Iceland, which Excuse was me. awesome. Mm -hmm. um, I highly recommend all three if you're looking to go abroad. It was pretty cheap, too. Do you have any plans for 2019? Any big 2019, plans? 2019, I want to go to... Um, I want to go back to Europe. I've That was the first time I've been to Europe. I've mm -hmm. been to South America and stuff like that. I did my study okay. abroad in um, been Brazil. To South America. Like, yeah. Know. Okay, that's really in fun. In Rio de Janeiro, which mm -hmm. was awesome. Yeah. Um, so I want to go back to... I want to do a couple more trips mm -hmm. to Europe. So, like, That'd London, exciting. Paris, I'll come. Dublin. Yeah, for I'm sure. just saying, like... Yeah, Find someone to go buddy. with exactly. you. For okay. sure. What's number two? Um, so two, I have two. Um, Wait, virtual. back to traveling. What's your did you What's your favorite place that you've ever gone? Um, Absolutely. Everybody favorite always place. asks me that. There's a lot of good oh, ones. Is that I basic? think um, <laughs> Iceland's really high up there. I okay. always wanted to go to Iceland. I finally went there, and it's truly like visiting Absolutely. a like, different planet. Really? Yeah, just like the geography and the topography, everything. I it's go. crazy. And just like the geothermal springs mm -hmm. and stuff like that. It's it's kind of wild. I want to go. I've definitely... <laughs> I have a story about that. <laughs> you have a story about that? Yeah. About a tractor? So we can skip Wait. ahead. So okay. I've had a lot. So my number two is that I've had a lot of different jobs. Mm -hmm. Odd my, jobs. Odd jobs. Odd jobs. Very strange jobs. So my first job actually was driving a land clearing tractor speak of the devil <laughs> yeah so, it's you know comedic timing that that drove How, by what did you do what were you doing when so i worked for my parents and they owned like that's cool they owned a piece of property and they mm -hmm. really wanted it it was like a junk property there was mm -hmm. a bunch of squatters and mm -hmm. stuff like that there was a bunch of old trailers wanted to like clean it up and everything yeah okay. so they wanted to clean it up so they <laughs> decided to save some money and just <laughs> paid me like <laughs> A small allowance to get on this giant tractor wow. to clear land. So my job was to squash up all these like old mobile homes mm -hmm. and like little Are you houses serious? and stuff. Mm -hmm. I want to do that. Just be fun. Just to go around like smashing stuff. That's also how I learned how to drive manual transmission. Okay. Because that's what the tractor is. Okay. Um, but we found a lot of. Learning so you always talents. had to like go in and um, look for stuff like. Mm -hmm old batteries, old gas tanks and stuff like that. Oh, before, before you smashed so it, it. Okay. Yeah, you didn't explode anything. The weirdest thing I ever found was um, a prosthetic leg. No how wonder. Do you just, how do you just... <laughs> I, I can't know. fathom, like, forgetting or, like, just leaving just my leaving prosthetic that leg somewhere. Like, I always I would think, like, it. maybe he got and a new And they're expensive. One. Maybe they got oh, a new okay. one. Oh, so, okay. Yeah, okay. That's a nice thought. I like that. Nice, so. I like that. Okay. But maybe it just wasn't nice because it had been left there for so yeah, long. Yeah, in like a hurricane and things yeah. like that. Oh, okay. So <laughs> number three, what do we have? So Well, wait, I've had more odd oh. jobs than oh, that. Okay. So in college, more. I um, worked on a drag racing team. So like race cars. <laughs> so 
So. That's really cool. That reminds me of that Disney Channel movie about the girl who was oh, like one yeah. of the first drag. Was it a drag race? I don't. I, I don't know the name. I remember, but like, she was the girl like one of the drove, first female racers yeah. or something. Mm-hmm. And it was like the. Two I didn't get to car. drive the car. I mean, oh, I drove the that's car. That's still really cool. Not though. in races. I drove the car for other things, mm-hmm. but. Um, I did a lot of like my main job was tires, mm-hmm. so I monitored tire pressure and things like that. Let me ask you, do you know how to change a tire? Yes, I do. Okay, <laughs> I was honestly holding my breath because I thought no. you might have said no. My friends call me in college and they're like, "Can you like I have a flat tire? Can, Can you, you come, come out?" Me? Yep. That I love that. I was everyone's. I love that. For yes. That. Um, what what other kind of odd jobs? I was also a telemarketer for a while in college. Okay. That was horrible. Yeah. Don't recommend can, it. You know, uh, it's not for me. But you got to pay the bills. You have to have you know. a certain type of personality and that's to be able to handle me. that <laughs> yeah but at least you know you learn I did I learned something I feel like knowing myself. what you want to do in life is just as important as knowing what you don't want to do in life yeah for and sure telemarketing is not for you it's not <laughs> um so I did a bunch of retail mm-hmm. um I okay. was a DJ <laughs> I, wait <laughs> yep I DJ'd. what was your first gig a basketball game I did Big East basketball games for USF back that, when they were in the Big East seriously mm-hmm. That's okay, Amanda. Mm-hmm. Wow, I thought. Good time. Okay, I, I, I worked a couple I was cool also, places. Um, I did they're not lot. odd. They're just cool. They're too. just different. Yeah, <laughs> they don't, like none. Goodness. None have anything to do with the other. No. Um, mm-hmm. And then this wasn't so much a job. Well, it was kind of a job, but I was a dancer in the Orange Bowl. That's really cool. Got to dance with Jessica Simpson. 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 Um, Nick Lachey. Ninety-eight degrees. Without you. Yeah. That's Jessica Simpson. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And Shaggy. How it goes. Back in like, the day. Like, it wasn't me. Yes. Didn't... Okay. <laughs> like, that's really stinking cool. That was back in the day. Mm, that's I'm going to try to find a TBT. YouTube video of it. Oh, it's, it's there. It. I've seen it. Orange Bowl from year 2000. Uh, tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Tell... Okay, that's fine. Like, Google. Google. I'd have to think about it. Oh, four? Maybe? Okay, that's fine. I can work with that. It mm-hmm. was a while ago. <laughs> <laughs> it was a minute or two ago. That's going to date myself a lot. No, but. it's, you know, um, age is nothing but a number. It's better than the alternative. Getting older is great. There you go. Yeah. Age and like a fine wine. There you go. Yes. <laughs> um, so my number three is I have two fur children at home. I love it. And fur I babes. acquired both last year. Aww. So in 2018. Uh, one, <laughs> one I made a conscious decision yes. to get. Mm-hmm. One I did not. So the Please first one I story. got, I got, um, a retired racing greyhound. I adopted him from the track. He was 19 Beautiful. months old when he retired. He won his last race. I love that. He's a big sweetheart. I love him so much. Um, but he actually helped me get my second um, yes. child. What's the name of your second child? Um, Loch Ness Monster. Loch Ness Monster, everyone. Is, I just want to go ahead and throw that out there. Loch she, Ness Monster. I named her because I was walking my dog um, by a lake by our house and Loch Ness crawled up out of the lake and followed me home. Picture that visual <laughs> everywhere. And like it's there's just actually a video. Cat. It's really there's cute. A, it's there's really a cute. video of her just following just us home. Like, do, 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 and my do. dog is big. He's a greyhound. He's 77 pounds. Yes. And the cat's obviously much just smaller. A little, no, no, no. So a nugget. No. Yeah. So that's how. What the heck was this? Oh, I've done it three times yes. now. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah. So one, I made a conscious effort to get. One, I did not. I blessings. Love them both. Blessings. Yeah, I when the universe the is like, cat. here, I'm going to bless you with another fur babe. Yeah, she followed you us home. Yes. I opened my door to walk in and she helped herself. Boom. And I love that. That's how you get a cat. That's how you get fur babes. Mm-hmm. That's how you acquire a cat. What else? Is this number five? This is four. This is four. Okay. Um, so have? I've had a lot of weird injuries and weird manners. Wait, because you guys thought I was clumsy. <laughs> I just want... I'm not so much clumsy as things happen. So um, I, I, let's talk about the Netflix story because I know yes. <laughs> I think that that's a little clo- is it? I, it's I'm interesting. Talk- yeah, so, it is interesting. Um, I was watching Netflix one night. Um, you know how as you we watch, all tend to yeah, do, you know, on your normal laptop, night, exactly normal with like evening. I had it propped up on my legs, mm-hmm. and I have, so think her legs are like this, yeah, like in like the bed, up. and she's leaned back, and I'm laying down, and I guess I started to fall asleep, and I had a <laughs> MacBook Pro that's metal. Um, and <laughs> I felt it starting to fall, so I, like, reacted to it falling, twitched, which I pulled my knees closer to my face, which propelled my MacBook into the bridge of my nose, and I broke my nose. So, you can, I don't know if you can see it, but there is, like, a break in my nose. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, because I can see it. I can so see it everywhere. So there's like a little, it didn't heal right, so there's a little bump on my nose from, I had two black eyes, I had to go to work the next day. Have you been traumatized from Netflix? Or like, no, do you and Netflix still have a good relationship? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's so, really funny. Do you still watch TV in bed? I put it on my actual TV now. Okay, I instead don't of, put my laptop on. Okay, we've learned. As long as we've learned and we're not making the same Learn mistake. from my mistakes. <laughs> like, don't do what I did. Um, I also tore a ligament in my ankle playing Wii. So, playing Just Dance 3 No on Wii. judgment. It's just life. At everyone. least it wasn't Wii Tennis. It, or Wii Bowling. That might be more embarrassing. <laughs> See, it could be worse. <laughs> Things can always be worse. <laughs> Way to I'm find the positive. Saying. Way to find the positive. <laughs> you got to find a positive spin on things. Um, so in that, my number five is a lot of weird things happen to me. Yep. Just naturally. We've already yes. kind of learned. There's mm-hmm. some, been, I think they're running the mill. Yes. But there are some things that you guys can't even find out about that are just absolutely <laughs> just wonky. just keep happening to me. That I wish... <laughs> You guys could hear. It's very interesting. Mm -hmm. Um, But an example of that that I can share is back in college, I saved my car from a fire. I forgot about this. Yes, I heard this. (laughs) So um, I was visiting a friend of mine. and Set the the scene. Set the the imagery for him. Yeah, so I was visiting a friend of mine um, at his apartment complex when I was in college. And he got an email from the apartment complex that said the visitor lot is closed due to a fire. And he said, isn't that where your car is? And I said, yes. So I took off running out of his apartment, ran all the way down to where the visiting car lot was. And it was basically like a big square lot. One side's closer to the apartments, one side's closer to like a tree line. And the tree line was on fire. And there was like one of those white plastic fences and it was melting down the fence. (laughs) And of course that's like, like, Where? Are we in California? What are we doing? Now? <laughs> it was here. It was like, a damn. We have hurricanes, not fires. <laughs> and That's it was all I mean. Melting down the tree line. There's two like huge fire engines there, and there's all these firefighters running around, and I'm just like full on running down to my car. And I had bought and paid for this car, and it's paid for. And you know, when you're in Important. college, you don't need another exactly. car payment. No. <laughs> so I go running, and he, one of the firefighters, was like, "Wait, wait, wait! You know, you can't go over there. There's a." A fire and I'm like I need to get my, my car. car it's important so I go running in there I will have student loans for years I need yes, this car I don't need another payment I'm already paying enough for college so I run in the fire is maybe five feet less than from my car and it's like a big fire like 15 20 feet in the air because it's burning up trees I didn't care. I only cared about my car, and I, I realized that's why you have car insurance. But at Very the time, true. I didn't That care. wasn't crossing your mind, My no. parents told me that after they're like, just leave yeah. it because no. you have car insurance. No. No. Also, don't do this. Yes, please. Just let we your We do car not condone insurance. this once again. Car, another let thing your on car this channel. insurance We take do care not of condone. It. But I did get in my car, threw it in reverse, probably jumped a curb because there was fire engines blocking the entrance to the lot. But I did save my car. I still own that car. It's a fantastic car. It's still going strong and it's still paid off. <laughs> like, that's all that matters. So think about it. If you hadn't saved that car. I probably would have gotten exactly. another car paid for by my insurance. But Oh, that is very true. That is very true. Because, again, we keep forgetting about insurance. But I wasn't really thinking about that. No. I was thinking about the fact that I had just car. paid this car off. <laughs> and it was about so to excited. be. So excited. Like, the universe is like, yeah, you paid this car off. Flames. You're great. Yeah. And we're just going to set it a fire. You know what? Yeah. And then the firefighter That's was like, very mad at me, I as he should have been. believe it. I 100%. I don't blame him. So if like, he's watching, I'm sorry. I probably, like, I just picture myself, like, if I was him, like, and you were running towards the car, like, I just would have stuck he's my foot out like, and, like, tripped you on the yeah. way. And he was actively life. fighting a fire, like, turning over his shoulder going, are you kidding? Nope. I am not. No. no. Is that five? That's it, somehow. Yeah, yeah that's I love five. that. I feel like that technically will count as more than five. There's but a lot. You learned a lot about exactly. me than you probably have ever wanted to Boom. know. Boom, and a lot quicker than you guys learned about me. So there's that. I didn't even have you hold out for Amanda. So if you haven't already, go ahead and like this video. We love to see the thumbs up. That's the best. If you haven't, also subscribe. Do that. Don't know what you're waiting for. Turn on the post notifications. Don't forget to comment below, though, if I'm right when it comes to saying Happy New Year's yes. and, like, limiting it. Or if it's a week, to like a month, a day or two. Definitely not anymore. Because I think they're month. all wonky. Every single person in this office is wonky. Two, three-day max. That's what we're going to cap it at. So we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for tuning in. 